All right, today we'll be replacing the pads and rotors on a 2012 Chevy Silverado. The pads that we'll be replacing, made by Ray, Ray Bessos, is called EHT, Enhanced Hybrid Technology. I've been getting a lot of good positive feedback from my customers where I put these pads on in lieu of the more expensive Aki Bonos, which I like, but they're like almost twice the price. And the rotors are also Ray Bestos, and these are coated rotors. So the non-contact surfaces over time will not rust out like standard rotors. And the way these are machined, it gives a nice smooth braking surface. I turn the steering wheel to the right so I get an easier access path to the caliper bolts. So we start by removing the slower caliper bolt. Now what happens is some of these GM um, brake pads, they put a, a sticky glue on the back. So the only way you can get this caliper up is using a pry bar. There we go. Now we'll slide the upper caliper pin away and rest the caliper on top. So these are dual piston calipers. So you have to have a tool that will press both caliper pistons together while you're recessing the pistons back into the caliper. So what I like to do is do one turn, let the pressure in the blind equalize. Then I do another turn, give it a second or so, and just keep turning. Okay, the pistons are now flush. Now we'll just take the old brake pads off. Now we'll remove the caliper bracket. These caliper brackets are on very tight because they put on thread lock. Okay. The rotor is held in place with this Torx screw bolt. It's a T30. Sometimes it's just on hand tight. Now with these calipers, caliper bracket, the pads come with new shims. These shims go on very tight. So I use a uh, brass hammer. Okay, here are the new pads. I'll put some brake grease on the between the pad and the shims to help prevent brake squeal. Okay, pad with the brake wear indicator goes on the inside. So I'll preload the caliper bracket with the new brake pads. Okay, so now the, the caliper bracket is ready to, to be mounted back on the car. Now I'll lubricate the lower caliper pin. This will allow the caliper to move back and forth with the brake wear so it floats. This is a floating caliper design. I'm going to lubricate this pin, the upper pin over here. Slide this pin into the upper caliper bracket. Push it in so that the dust boot, it connects to the dust boot.
and we're basically done.